Hello guys. Uh, this video will be a supplementary material for the class we had on Thursday. Uh, on Thursday we learned uh, uh, concepts of directional derivatives, concepts of gradients, and today in this video we will learn how to use gradients of the function to find tangent lines to the level curves of that function if that function is of two variable and if that function is of three variable then we will learn how to use gradient to find tangent plane to the level surface of that function okay let's get started we need to recall a little bit of theory of what we covered on Thursday we did that if fxy is a function of two variable all right then for any point a b in the domain the function f increases fastest in the direction of the gradient all right so if this is let's call my domain x in y and I'm some point here a b and suppose the gradient is pointing in that direction all right then f will increase fastest in the gradient direction okay so that's what we that's uh, one thing that we covered on Thursday on the other hand fxy remains constant along any of its level curve by the very definition of the level curve so let's say we have one level curve a general level curve is defined as set of all the points x and y on which fxy is equal to constant fixed constant so it's each constant is fixed for a particular level curve all right so we know that by the very definition of level curve f will remain constant on that level curve all right so we have two directions we have one direction which is the gradient direction where the function is increasing as fast as it can and there is this other direction along the level curve where the function is just constant all right so you look at the graph you look at this picture here this uh, this black line denotes black curves denotes a level curve suppose the gradient is denoted the direction given by the gradient is in the red line and I'm being we know that f increases fastest along the red arrow which is the gradient direction and I know that f is constant along the black direction so I have this two direction in which uh, in which one direction f is constant and other direction f is uh, increasing as fast as it can so it's natural to assume and it makes sense that these two directions should be as far apart as possible and in the geometry we know that the two directions are as far apart is saying same thing that the direction between angle between these two directions is 90 degree all right so it makes sense and it in fact it can be proven and it is true that the gradient direction is always perpendicular to the level curve direction so gradient is always perpendicular to the level curve the level curve changes uh, it's uh, at all the point uh, its direction is changing so at each time what does it mean to say that the, the gradient at some point is perpendicular to the level curve well it means that the gradient is perpendicular to the tangent to the level curve at the given point so the fact we will be using is the gradient of f is always perpendicular to the tangential direction of the level curve of f all right 
Now this simple fact helps us in calculating the equation of the tangent line. For example, if I know this point AB and I know the vector which is perpendicular to the tangent plane, that is the gradient of F, then these two information, a vector perpendicular to my required line and a line and a point in that required line, these two information is sufficient for me to calculate this tangent line. So let's see that in example. Suppose my two variable function is fxy is equal to x squared plus y squared. And our job is to find the tangent line to the level curve with this particular value of height 2. So the level curve we are looking at is given by this x squared plus y squared is equal to 2 and we are interested in finding the tangent line at the point 1 1 right? and we all know what this level curve looks like so it should be a circle right all right and our point is somewhere around 1 1 here so we are basically interested in finding what this tangent line looks like what is the equation of this tangent line? All right. So what is given to us is a point 1, 1. And I know that the gradient of the function whose level curve is this circle points in the direction perpendicular to the tangent line. Therefore, the gradient of f at 2 2 so at 1 1 must be perpendicular to the required tangent line. Okay, so that's one piece of information. Also, let's pick any point x and y in my tangent line. Alright, so let's just say x and y Are some random point in the tangent line, tangent line. Uh, so random point any point in the tangent line now since the gradient is perpendicular to the tangent line therefore the gradient must be perpendicular to the vector joining x and y n11 right Therefore, gradient of f evaluated at 1, 1 must be perpendicular to x and y minus 1, 1. Is that correct? If that makes sense right now if gradient is a vector x x y minus 1 1 is a vector these two vectors are perpendicular simply means that the dot product between them must be 0 therefore the dot product between gradient of f evaluated at 1 1 and x minus 1 and y minus 1 must be 0 and that basically gives us the equation of the tangent line what is the gradient now we know that the gradient of f at 1 1 
is nothing but take the partial derivative of the function that is x square plus y square its partial derivative with respect to x is 2x evaluating 2x at 4x equal to 1 and y is equal to 1 gives us 2.